HO ban, but what do they want to leave open, right? First of all, Lancelot, Franco, Arlet. There's just so much that they need to consider here as we welcome you to the drafting phase of game number two between Echo and Team Evo. Right now, Echo is the first pick and immediately banning out the glue, banning out the Kaja, banning out the Eve. And then Evo, not changing much, but this time they're banning out the one one as well as the Lancelot. So now in terms of early pick, the Novaria was open, it didn't get picked up. I do want to see if Sanji is actually fancying a little bit of a Novaria. Oh, yeah, no. Novaria was completely snubbed in game one. Exactly, right. yeah. I completely forgot. Okay, thinking about Sanji's main strengths, something tells me, yeah, maybe he is uh, packing a Novaria. It's just, it needs the right time, it needs the right space. But yeah, no, Echo just reverts to uh, an old flame, an old classic here. Carl Deasy's Frederick. All right, all right. So no Cho ban, no Bane ban. Nothing too fancy. The Arleth has been left open this time around. That's exactly what's changed. And with Echo picking up something like the Fredrin, I don't know. It feels a little bit, you know, dramatic by Echo. Like, you know, let's let's teach you how to play the Fredrin. Oh, Just a little bit, you know. Just like a, a little bit it. of that. Like a statement. I get it. But yeah, right now, you know, they're picking up the Arleth. But now, what else do they want? I want you. And they're gonna pick I up the Valentina. Actually, a very good pick here would actually be the Fairness, especially because the Eve has been banned out. But looks like they just want to play it safe, pick up the Valentina, and start dictating the draft by seeing what Echo will pull out of their uh, pockets. What they're allowed to. What they're allowed to play, yeah. Mm, I wonder. If, if the Novaria was gonna come out, maybe it can come out now. Because again, if you steal uh, Astral Echo, get it? Astral uh, Echo? Yeah, 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 it is. What I wonder if that's worth it for an IMU. If even if can you if you can even find Novaria. It's a good alt. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, if your composition doesn't really uh, need it, then it's kind of like whatever, you know. Oh. No, nope, this doesn't say anything. We don't know. Yeah, we can play a Kadira. But the more the more frightening thing is Sanford on this Yuzong. 100% still. Yes. yes. Yes, I think so. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 11. Now we never see. It's gonna be 12 out of 12. Wait, I have a question. Who usually plays the Kadita and Echo? Uh, Yaoi or Sanji. Yaoi, so they can both that's play why, it. That's right, yeah. So even if Jungle so and still XP... still flex. Yeah, even if Jungle and XP are honest here, you still don't know what the mid is going to look like. Wow. That got a little bit more confusing for Evo no, as well, but the they're going to close the first phase here with the Akai pickup. That guy is honestly pretty good here just because, number one, you can help out because we don't know whether this Akai is going into the jungle or the roam position. Right. It can help you out by securing those neutral objectives like the turtle as well as the Lord. Wait. And they're, they're, they're thinking, this this isn't Saji, this is Yaoi. But do you see this? 20 August is back. Oh, wait, what? Oh wait, yo! Wait, I didn't. I didn't notice it. Oh my god! Hello. We were so focused on the heroes, we didn't look at the names. That's right. All right, all right. So he's back in the roster. What does this mean for Team Evo, right? Because the gold leader again, hasn't been picked up. Yeah, that's the change. So are, we, are change. we? Are we back to the Evo that we know and the expected to come stuff. over? So is right? it high? See, focus on the front line. Okay. okay, focus on the front line, man. <laughs> Okay, Diggy. Diggy. Oh, there's a Novari. All right, they read into it. They know that the mid isn't as clear and as honest as it could be. But this pick night right here, this should say something. This should show us. I don't know, but with the Diggy being banned out here from Echo, do you think that that's enough, right? They see that they need the Yuzong and the Kadita to be, you know, just can land all their shots? Or do you think something else might be brewing? Are they going to be picking up something else that's crazy? Like maybe... I, I, honestly, I think Medikiti was just annoyed. Uh, He's just like, get this diggy out of my lane. Okay. I can win the 1v1. Stop. I, I want just the wombo combo. Exactly. exactly. Oh, all right. Well, look at this. Evo answers back. They want to solve the Yuzhong. They want to solve the Fredrin. Pick up the carry. Now we're going to find out. Where is that Kadita going? I kind of feel like based on the bands, they're trying to force this Kadita to go mid. They're trying to force it. I kind of want it to go mid. Oh. To be honest, I want to see the Wombo Combo strat coming in from Echo. I mean, like, you know, just like double down with something even crazier. Uh, but, Atlas? Who, but, oh, but no, it's Atlas so hard against here. the Akai, honestly. Yeah. Time and time. Well, oh. you got what you wanted. Oh. Yo! You got what you wanted. This is this Echo draft looks very M4. <laughs> this is. Lolita nothing, will be okay here. Nothing new. They, they dusted off all reliable. 
All of those are our are, 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 are signature picks. Is this a bad thing? Manicuti obtained five legendaries during oh, MPL Philippines Season 11 with Beatrix. See, it's not just very M4, it's very MPL PH Season 11. Oh, God. Uh, if it ain't broken, take it again. That's right. <laughs> if it ain't broken, keep using it. Yeah. All right, last pick here coming a, in from it's a, Evo. It's a thing. It's not a good thing, not a bad thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's, it's a, a thing. thing. Okay, we're going to expect this thing here in the second game. But what else are they going to secure here? Akai in the jungle position, so that leaves the roamer. With the Diggy being banned out, what's their best goal? Only they know. Vermis. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Vermis is good against Too Catch. Late. Just because, let's late. say, Yaoi catches someone out, the cut alter could give the second life. So, in theory, it's good. But in execution, it's very difficult because you got to mirror the Yaoi. Yeah, yeah. The Yaoi. The yeah. Yaoi. The Yaoi. The Yaoi, <laughs> played by Cho. Played by Cho, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, maybe they're picking up from the tempo in game one, right? Remember, game one, they were very reactive. What if this time around, they just press load game and then they just play reactive <laughs> as well i don't know it works maybe some teams just need to warm up maybe evo is like that maybe but they have one more chance leo Rafael. well this one more chance it's gonna be feeling very heavy on their shoulders because we read what agi said what his hope is yeah. is for this to be a bigger spark in makong to make sure that everyone actually invests more in mobile legends Oh, here we go. Let's get back into the portal. Taking us straight on a one-way trip to the Land of Dawn. Smash them. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, finally. Remember, match Welcome point here for Echo. Legends. They need one more game to be able to win this best of three series. And you can see already with the composition that Echo has brought to the table that it is CC heavy. Right now, looking at the lineup, looks like, yeah. So far, they're moving in a way to make sure that 20 August actually gets the level 4 a little bit quickly. So they're moving the mid laner, going to the EXP, sharing some minions. But it looks like Echo is not doing the same thing. It looks like Yao is just scouting out, making sure that he knows everyone's positioning. And Sanji just absorbs the minion in the mid all by himself. Yeah, yeah no, this is a, a play that was more recently made popular. The whole XP lane, faster level 4, and then you get your roamer there. But yeah, Echo's playing very six months ago. Like, this is, you don't respond to that. Mm. So I think that they understood the dynamic there. I agree, I agree. And for Echo in particular, I think there are a lot of these members that are heavily reliant on that level 4. So what we saw, the aggression we saw in game number 1, it's not going to be replicated here in game number two. Biston really respecting the damage that could be outputted, so he built the Steel Lake plates a little bit earlier. Now Carl Tizi is down here. Betty Beauty scouts out Biston. Biston, you're in trouble. Oh, finds him out, gets out of the way. Dashing through, uses that Purify. Oh, but that's already an advantage here from the Beatrix, right? He's not going to get... The Grobak is what we call it in Indonesia. The oh. last minion. Mm. The cannon minion. There you go. The Grobak? The Grobak. I'm taking notes. Yes. So that gives the Beatrix a little bit of an edge there in that 1v1 situation. Oh. But Sanford. Oh, they mean business. They want this turtle. Sanford goes for the back line. Pushing your name away. Ofer. Just deep behind enemy territory. He goes down. Carthys, he gets the kill. Turtle still standing. First blood drawn already. Agi very low as well. Sanji just keeping him at bay. Yaoi goes in deep. Carthys secures the turtle. We can definitely see both EXP laners kind of going for the same thing, where both EXP laners are looking for the junglers. The only difference is Opera goes in, but he's 1v2ing. Instead of Sanford, it's just 1v1ing. So. It's a situation where they have the same idea executed differently and we can actually see one is taking a more safer route while the other is really trying to outplay hard, trying to 1v2. Well, with that in mind, Echo still holds that gold lead, right? 1,100 for four. Seems like Evo catching up just a little bit, but 1v1. Forced the flicker there here. Too much damage. What is the Arlet and the Yuzong matchup like? I would honestly say it is a very skill-based matchup, but now Yaoi gets a good oh, kick in. Oh, there it is. They compromised Agi. He's not going to survive for long. Carl Deasy gets the kill. Now your name gets saved here by 20 August. There goes the cult altar. Oh, they ate up those life bars so quickly. In comes the Apex Predator. Serving up a kill to Yaoi. Your name goes down. But 20 August 
gets away, but the damage has already been done. Again, this is why what I said. The Primus is good against a catch composition, but you got to mirror him all the way through. The, the moment you're away from your own teammates, the moment you're away from Yaoi, you will see something like that. You're just going to be a little bit too late. And the fact that you're just a little bit too late feels bad. Isn't that the same as almost is never enough, right? You could say, I got so close, oh. but that doesn't count! The pop! Oh, we were just talking about what that matchup might be like. But that changes when a rogue Kadita just comes through from down bottom. Man, Sanji on the Kadita has just been insane, right? 1-0-2 already, the KDA, the impact that he's had, the way that they are able to follow up and just work and build on one another. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to see that Wombo combo coming in from Echo. And we see it being played to perfection here. Even in just the first four minutes of the game, already at a 3,000 gold lead, guys. And now looking at the top side, Sanford is controlling, I would say, two-thirds of the map. Just because, again, but here in the mid, Yaoi catches Agi, but Yaoi, he oh. might be making a mistake. What's that three fights happening at the same time? August eventually does get it. Make that four fights. A turtle, a push in mid, down bottom. Benny Cutie barely winning, pushes Bistone away. This is 1v1 all across the map. That's right. It's everywhere. All at the same time. <laughs> Okay, right now here in the top side, you can see that Sanji and Sanford going to look for something. But I gotta say, that was a little bit of a caster curse. I just mentioned Echo. I said that they were really calculated and Yaoi dies. You know Sorry, what? Yaoi. Not gonna lie. Sometimes even I feel that maybe I should have <laughs> kept my mouth shut. But now, but looking at to keep your mouth open and <laughs> You know what? Money is great. So we're gonna continue. <laughs> even right now, we definitely see that 20 August, he's kind of like more focused on the bottom side of the map. So at this point, he's like, you know what, Opera? I hope you can survive because I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna come to you as often. That's right. And and what makes it so difficult for this X feeling Arlet is, it's not very good when you're on the reactive portion, right? Like when you when you're the one who's answering back, it's difficult. But oh wait, they have mad intentions for oh, Bistone. No, no. Does he know? Oh, he's kicked in. And here goes Tony Argus to the rescue. Oh, that backfired. Echo doesn't really do much with that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we, oh my god! There's a taunt, I got easy. He's in the middle of four members here. And there's a wow. Oh, they got the goat down! Evo clap back! Wow, beautiful counterplay there by Evo. Benny Cutie forced to flee for his life. Sanji might not get out of this alive. Oh, but he's forcing it. And he goes down. Your name gets it. Already looking better. Eterna, uh -huh. never say a team is being calculated. The All moment right. that happens, the calculator is gone. And there's another calculated kick. Serving it up to Benny Cutie. Agi goes down, courtesy of Yaoi. And now oh. the click are in. Oh, but Benny, despite getting a 2K, goes down himself. Here comes Sanford. Black Dragon form in, but no one to keep him down. Yaoi's skills are on cooldown. Did you, did you hear what the statement I said before yeah. that went down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I did. You heard I it? Did, yeah. And then the caster curse again? Yeah. All yeah. right. Here's, you know what? Here's, here's the thing, man. I mean, <laughs> you, you're, you're talking a lot about Yaoi. Both times, Yaoi, the kick didn't connect as nicely as he and, wanted to. And it wasn't to. just Yaoi. Yeah! I said Evo, very great counter engage, and then they lost the member. I mean, you're not wrong. They were counter engaging. They did win, but here's another heavy spin, keeping down Sanford, serving up a kill to Oper. And that's a man down for Echo. Can they force it? Oper goes down very low. Yaoi gets the kill. Popping that concussive blast. No one the third. There's a taunt that counts easy. Oh, an appraiser's wrath. Barely getting out of turret range. And they both disengage. Right now it's a one around 1,000 gold lead, but it does look like Evo are in a good situation. Yeah, we got to kick on to your name. Oh. Again, they're going, but that barrier, that wall, kept them away from each other. But there's a purple steal. Grand Theft Purple in Phnom Penh. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Man, both of these teams have been playing so aggressively for the past few minutes. Very chaotic, honestly, if I have to say so myself. But what have they been able to achieve with that? Honestly, looking at the itemization as well, a lot of changes have been gone on this Arlen. And so far, Opper is going for kind of cool defense here. But now, the defense is going to help a lot. Oh. Opper's going to get taken down. He doesn't have any magic Rizzies. Rizzies? Resist! Words. <laughs> Words. Yep. The Malaysian come out. <laughs> Echo looking for a push, not just in bottom, but even in top. 
as Carl Dizzy cuts through Augie, and Augie's gonna make the call. Yo, I need to defend this turret. I need to stay here. Here comes Tony August in your name. Can they find something? Oh! Sanji still takes down Augie, makes him pay for the overextension. How do you do that, right? How are you playing this chaotic, this messy? Honestly, I would say messy here for Echo and still get the advantage on all fronts. Is that the way that you want them to change to be a more calculated way? No, 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 no. By saying they're messy? Maybe, Is I don't know. Is this the reverse curse? Maybe. I mean, you know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're learning a lot of new things here in MSE. <laughs> okay. Harnessing your power. Yes. Oh, but I love that last engagement in mid, right? You see how Agi was thinking twice about staying and defending, but Sanji, he was actually baiting him as well. And this is one of Sanji's best traits. And this was made clear to me when I had a conversation with Outplays Hoon. Hoon is a big fan of Sanji, and now we're seeing more of that here now. As Echo starts up a we call Lord's Dance, Oh, but your name is going to oblige. I love it. Your name is also very confident. Right now, looking at Yaoi. Yaoi's trying to look for a kick. He finds onto Biston, but it looks like Biston oh, is going to get caught. There's a taunt serving up a kill to Yaoi. Biston goes down. But Yaoi pops the call out a little too late. But he does get his HP bar taken down. Look at this. In the purple buff side, Agi goes down. Tony Yagas goes down as well. Oh, but Agi actually survives. Agi got away with it. Oh, but still two men down from Evo. Ooh, that's very difficult. Oh, missed that one. Your name, can he survive? Benny gets him down as well eventually. That's a win for Echo. All this while, Carl was taking down the Lord. And that's a shutdown for Benny QT as well. How in the world did he know? His just, oh man. The even. It's one of those spray and prays. Actually, it doesn't spray. It's just wow. like, I'm just going to have one shot, one Let's opportunity, see. and see what, I, what I'm going to get. And he got your name. Not not your, but, you know, the, the, player. The, the player. The player. Yeah, yeah, the, the player. The jungler. The jungler, the jungler. exactly. Amazing, From Laos. amazing. 5,600 gold lead already. And you can feel, the, oh, wait, now we again. Oh, that was beautiful. The perfect target. Oh, that was beautiful. With his purify off cooldown. The playmaker. Dude, directly onto Sanji. There are two rules in MLBB. What's the you first rule? You always clear your lane, and you don't give Yaoi the chow. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know that rule, but you know what? I love to hear it because now... We never okay. have to deal with it. We never have to play against them. Exactly, because we, we usually just ban it out, but now with 7,000 goal lead, Evo, they're really re looking at the situation. It's like, okay, guys, come on, come on. What do we have to do here? I, I got a feeling that you gotta catch the Yes, this is one way to start, right? This all right, is all this right. is the mid game. Your name attempts a heavy spin displacement for Carl Teasy. Doesn't get it. Now, Lord marches down through bottom. They try to clear the waves. They actually get it. Oh, they clear mid too. So Evo's still breathing. This is a step. This is one way to go. All right, all right. That's good. That's good, right? That means that Evo, they're still looking for ways to bring back the game into their hands. But. Like, you can even tell that Echo are feeling it with their positioning, with the... Oh my god, again! They're gonna force it, they know that Evo is greenless! Down goes Carl Dizzy, though, the punish by Agi! And there's a kick under your name, he goes down, Medi Cutie gets a kill. Mid lane gonna follow through, Sanji goes! Agi gets 2k now, 2 for 2, they're trading, look at the base! Turret up top, in jeopardy as well. Evo is just barely hanging on, but they're still here. Right now, honestly, the wave clear coming in from Evo. I kind of feel like they can defend this. But Echo, I, the moment Sanford has the Black Dragon form, I kind of feel like he wants to force it again. When it looks like force it, they will. There's another kick by Yaoi! Is there enough damage? Agi, force up the ground, and a sniper oh. shot by Benny Cutie! Wow. The storm is here! Oh man, that's another member taken down! This is a 5v4 situation so far. Even then, Yaoi is still confident enough to help those minions get that turret in that bottom side. And that's it. The full expose of Evo's base in the 12th minute of the game and a 10,000 gold lead for Echo. This is scary when you have, I would say, most would regard the best EXP leader and the best roamer in your own team because look at this. Yaoi, you engage? You good? All right. Sanford, you want to go in? All right, you go in. They can take turns. Yeah. Everyone else is like, oh, who's going to go in? Yaoi first? All right, let's go. Yaoi, you done? Sanford, you want to go in next? All right, let's go. They say art imitates life, but LaFell, that's literally what their comms sound like. Y'all can check it out at home, folks. Check out their YouTube channel, Echo. They actually share their comms. That's how it sounds like. You got it, G? You got it? Okay. Oh, seriously? Wait, 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 wait. me? Yaoi, wait, wait, me? Yeah, that's how it sounds like. 
Wow. As an analyst, I'm proud. That's how clean their comms are. That's why it translates so well into action. But how do they even synergize with those with that with that kind of direction, that playstyle? It just that adds more layer, more depth to Echo. That they don't rely on just single person to make that initiation play. And so evil, they have to be aware from all sides. Oh, they got a oh. kick on the Oprah! And can they get the kill though? Pop in the goes out there early on. Benny Cutie's got like in comes a late entrance. Look at Sanford in the back line. Can he take down Agi? Oh, already pops a petrify. Agi though gets a black dragon form of his own. But all this while, Benny Cutie gonna take down your name. That's a two man advantage. Whoa, all this time. God, easy was just taking down the Lord. I think the end is nigh. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is a very deadly situation and we definitely see how they engage. Echo, I'm smelling like they want to force this out. The minions are coming in. Yowie, play in footsies with 20 August. The wave is being taken care of. Evo knows their fundamentals, Evo knows. But then there's this Luminous Lord marching through mid. Yeah, and oh, crazily enough, even with the dominance coming in from Echo right now, they're still playing discipline, right? They're waiting for the Lord. They want it to hit on all three lanes. And this might just be it for Evo. Here we go. A Black Dragon 4 by Sanford coming in from the west. Looking for a kick. Sanford very low. And there you go. The knock up and the takedown. Oprah goes down. It's a five man push. Your name goes down as well. Just three defenders left. Down goes Agi Benicu to get 2K. And that's all she wrote. Echo gets the sweep. The Apex Predators strike again here at MSC 2023. Clean two games in a row, two to zero. And that just shows the dominance and the promise once again from the tournament favorites. Very, very clean. As a wise man once said, when you don't have dragon, don't go in. Oh, it's wise. Literally, wise said that. Yeah. See what I did there? I love it. Pretty cool, right? But yeah, oh, but honestly, very, very clean. It's like, yo, you got the black dragon form, let's go in very clean to make sure that even at the end, there's always going to be a chance that Evil could catch a mistake. So just don't make a mistake. And that's so difficult, right? To ask when you're facing off against the M4 World Champions. Uh, already they entered Game 1 without 20 August. And there definitely was some improvement here in Game 2 with 20 August. But I'd argue they weren't translating to as much of an impact as maybe even Evil wanted. In this game, Again, Evo, they did their best. We've seen glimpses in, I would say, transitioning from the early to the mid. Yep. But again, Echo is just like, okay, we made some mistakes, not again. You know what? Like, to be fair, this was a difficult first match for them, right? Like, going into MSC Definitely. already against Echo of all teams. A harsh welcome. It's definitely a harsh welcome, right? So we're, you know, we're definitely... What do you call it? Supporting Evo right we, we now. Wanna see them, we want to see them bloom. Exactly. We want to see what reparations that they can make and maybe learn from Echo here from that first match to translate into that group, right? Because definitely we see moments, we see glimpses of brilliance from this team. But unfortunately, in this first match, perhaps it was just a little bit too much to ask for against Echo. And there's like this one thing that I really wanted to touch on, right? You know, approximately the game duration yeah. in a Mekong, yeah. especially last tournament mm -hmm. qualifier they're qualifiers, Mekong yeah. qualifiers it's around 14 to 16 minutes right so 14 16 14 right. to 16 minutes so it's relatively a quick game yeah so maybe they need to expand on their play style not rely too heavily on that early game because it seems like once again if they don't have it they're kind of at a loss for what they want to do in the game that's actually a very interesting point because if their average game is between 14 to 60 minutes, we don't see a lot of early aggressions. Perhaps they're giving way too much respect towards Echo. But that being said, the MVP for the game is going over to Benicuti. 12 kills, one death, and two assists. And again, in this game, I kind of feel like without the Diggy, he, he has free reign to move forward, do as much damage as he can, and even though, like, Leo, I love when you talk about the MVP because there's the there's the payoff. And the setup. And the setup. There's a lot of setup, and Benny Cutie is definitely the payoff. Yaoi did great. Sanford did great. Sanji Benny, did great. Benny Cutie just has to be at the right place at the right time. Yep, and that one death came in 
during uh, the early part, if I'm not mistaken, or in mid-game. But yeah, eventually, oh, yeah, that one, he traded. So if I, he went down, taking someone down. Yeah, so still worth it. Definitely, it's no understatement to say that the storm has come to Phnom Penh. Looking at this game, it does feel like Evo looking at the situations, they're trying to bait out some aggression coming in from Echo. But then once Echo starts to have a feel about how they're gonna, how they're gonna fight back, how are they gonna respond, then they're like, okay, we roughly understand what's gonna happen. So Medicuri keep this much distance. Sanji keep this much distance. Carl Casey, you don't want to fight, it's fine. You see the Lord, you go for the Lord. Everyone has oh. their own jobs, and they're doing it well. Like how they complete each other, I still understand that, right? That level of synergy, that chemistry that they have, where, look, look at that. What is that? How do they combo that so perfectly? It's Echo, man. All right. Communications is just a part of how they make it happen, right? But What else do they do? Exactly. What else do they do? That's 